In this video, you are going to learn whether masturbation could help your erection recovery following prostatectomy. We're going to look at the clinical literature and we're also going to look at three hypotheses for why giving yourself a really jolly good hello below may be a great idea as part of your penile rehabilitation. So first, let's look at the clinical study by Dr. Valentin Meisner and colleagues. They followed 250 patients post nerve sparing prostatectomy, average age of 63 years old. Now at the two year mark, they found that patients who had reported masturbation during their journey, about 47.5% of them had moderate to good natural erection function. Now this was compared to 37.5% of men who did not report masturbation. Now morning, we can refer to this as nocturnal erections, had returned for 54.6% of men who masturbated versus 35% who had not masturbated. Now, we can't conclude any causality from this because there are so many variables um, determining erection recovery during penile rehabilitation. And I have a lot of videos about that that I'll pop in the description box below. However, it would be interesting for us to unpack why masturbation may have been a pro-erection strategy on these men's journey. So the first hypothesis that was proposed by these researchers was that potentially masturbation is yet another strategy for just encouraging more oxygenated blood flow into the penile tissue. So penile tissue, when flaccid, has a very low oxygen saturation level. And what you're looking to do with penile rehabilitation is just keep that tissue in really good health by encouraging and establishing blood flow, but especially oxygenated blood flow. Now, even when you're masturbating, if you find that you're still relatively flaccid, you might experience maybe a weak erection, maybe a one to two out of 10, that is still some oxygenation, which frankly is better than nothing. Sort of like if after you had an operation where you were looking to rehabilitate your ability to walk with your legs, even thinking about walking and then even just moving your legs ever so slightly would be better than doing nothing at all. And we can also potentially hypothesize that this was why the masturbation group had more of a return to urinary continence as well. So at 12 months post-surgery, the research has found that 83% of men in the masturbation group had a full return of their continence. That was compared to 70% of men who did not masturbate. So that's rather interesting. And that could, again, explain why masturbation could be helping with erections because any sort of pro-oxygenated blood flow into that pelvic tissue would be helping with pelvic floor recovery as well as erection recovery. The second reason that masturbation may lead to more erection recovery is the idea of just practicing what I call making the phone call. So anytime you have a spontaneous erection from arousal, it doesn't start in your pants. It starts up here in your mind. So in the mind, you experience sexual stimulation somewhere in your body or an erotic thought. And this essentially gets your mind to make a dial up to send a signal down your spine to the cavernous nerves around your prostate. Now these are the ones that may be in a state of trauma for you following prostatectomy. But if any are online, if they're starting to become online, what they'll do is they'll send chemical messages out into the bloodstream in order to essentially tell the penis relax and that then fills the penis with blood, um, aka your erection. So you sort of need to be regularly making that phone call in order to really know are the nerves surrounding my prostate online? Now, the third reason that you might be wanting to practice that five finger shuffle during your penile rehabilitation is for just the general health and well being benefits that we know exist for masturbation. Now, there is an absolutely amazing video that urologist Dr. Rena Malik on YouTube has made that firstly debunks all of the myths that you might have around why masturbation could be bad for you because. Let's face it, unfortunately, we are in a society that's not necessarily encouraging masturbation at this point, even though we do have the scientific research demonstrating why it's a really positive thing to do for your well-being, your nervous system, and even the hormones that are released during that activity. And Rena does an amazing job of unpacking all those hormones and why they are pro-erection and pro-health. So I'm going to pop that link in the description below, and I highly recommend you check that video out. Now, if this idea is really resonating with you and you're just loving the permission to have a really good time downstairs, then I highly encourage you to essentially become 
the master in masturbation. And have a look at our Reprogram Your Penis in Three Weeks course. This is run by an exceptional sexuality clinician called Tess Devez. And she guides you through neurologically informed techniques to help you enhance penile sensation and also enhance your orgasmic experience post prostatectomy. So highly encourage you to check out that course. And also as always, if you like the video, please like, subscribe to the channel, lets me know that you're interested and I'll make more videos just like this one. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.